How many of you remember eating corn sticks growing up? These are so good, my mama would always make them. She gave me her corn stick pan years and years ago and I'll always treasure it. And maybe some of you have a corn stick pan. If so, you can just follow along with me. Maybe our recipes are different. And if you don't have one, I highly recommend going to an antique shop and looking for one because these are wonderful, especially if you like that crispy cornbread and you like the edges. And corn sticks are the best for dipping into soups and chili. And you can even dip them in pancake syrup or maple syrup. They're so good that way. And if you're someone who likes buttermilk, these are great. I'm told to dip in buttermilk, but I'll pass on that one. Okay, let's get started. So go ahead and grab some Crisco and a paper towel, and you're gonna make sure that you oil this pan down really good and get into those grooves. Also preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Grab the canola oil, and we are going to put one teaspoon of canola oil in each little corn stick mold. Canola oil is the key to making fried foods or cornbread crispy. And by the way, my recipe is crispy on the outside, but it is moist in the middle. Now, I like to use our basting brush. I just feel like it gets in the grooves much better. Go ahead and put this in the oven. You wanna get that oil really hot before you put the cornbread in. Now, while that oil is heating up, go ahead and grab your cornmeal, and we are gonna use about a half a cup of the cornmeal. I use Martha White Self-Rising Buttermilk Cornmeal. Now you'll need flour, and I always use white lily, and I'm adding three tablespoons of flour to this. Not heaping tablespoons, just three tablespoons. Now you'll need one egg, and make sure you beat that egg really well. Go ahead and put that in the mixture. And now you'll need some milk, and I am guessing at this, but I'm gonna guess about a half a cup. Keep mixing. You'll want your batter to look like pancake mix batter. Now grab the canola oil, and we're going to add about two tablespoons of canola oil to this. Now go ahead and mix this again really well, and your batter should still look like pancake batter. And it might be a little thin, but it's gonna set there a few minutes and it will thicken. By the time you finish this, your oven should have preheated to 400 degrees and your corn stick pan should be ready to pull out of that oven. You want your oil sizzling hot, but you don't want it smoking, just sizzling hot. And you definitely want this to be hot before you put this cornmeal batter in it. Also, a word of caution, be very careful with this little pan. It really doesn't have big handles, so you have to handle it with care. Now we're gonna put our batter in, and I just like to load my tablespoon and just run it along there. You are gonna make a mess sometimes, but that's okay. Just try to get that as even as you can. Now I do fill my molds up with the batter. It's almost to the top by the time I put it in. Now we are going to put this pan back in the oven and we're gonna leave it in the oven for about 10 minutes and then you'll turn your oven off, put it onto broil and it doesn't even take a minute. Do not walk away. Make sure you take them out immediately and they came out so easy. And I didn't capture that on the video. And voila, that's it. And look at the soup. This was yummy. I'll get that recipe posted as soon as possible, Lord willing. It's not even fall yet, y'all. And I'm already craving all of these soul-warming soups. Oh, they're so good.